Hi, this is Maria, and today I want to share with you how I made a house for my pet rock using a photograph box that I found at Michael's Craft Store. So come on in, and I'll give you a tour. First of all, let me show you the exterior of the house, the box. It was actually a regular brown photograph box from Michael's, and all I did was I took some acrylic paints that I got at the craft store, and a sponge, I think they're called like a sea foam sponge, and I just wet that and then dabbed it in the paint and I just went all the way around the box. I used one color at a time, let it dry, and did the next color. Okay, so the first thing I decided was I wanted to go with the 1970s retro theme because that was the era that I grew up when I was a teenager. And so anyways, let me go ahead and show you what I used. I used scrapbook paper for the walls. It was sort of a tie-dye theme there. And it only took two sheets of paper, something like this. This is a different print, but something like this. So I only used two of those. And for the flooring, I used a piece of felt. The felt I used on the bottom, you can see, is sort of a tie-dye, and but let me show you this as a sample. Gosh, these felt pieces come in all kinds of really cool patterns now. So this would make a great flooring, and also this one here, and this is really cute. I really like that with the peace signs, and I really like this one too. And so anyway, so I put my wallpaper, which was a scrap of paper, my felt down for the floor, and I just had to trim that. And then I wanted to put a bed in here. You can see the felt, it's really cute. Looks very 70s. And so what I did was, I just took a piece of felt, and I folded it in half, and then folded it again, just like that. And that became my pet rock's bed, Raffaella's bed. And so then I used a piece of fabric, and I'll show you this. I just bought like a little piece at the, at the um, craft store at Joann's. And it's the fleece fabric, and I just cut a piece out, and then I trimmed the edges with my scissors. I just clipped it. You can see how I clipped that. And so that's her blanket. With the pillows, just like in the video that I showed you for the um, pet rocks, how to make the pet rock hair on some of them, I just used some of these really fluffy chenille stems. And then I just went ahead and I folded it over, just like that, and pinched it there. And then I just clipped it right there with the scissors. And then I ended up with this like little pillow. And I made three different colors there. And then let's see what else I have in here. Uh, let's see, I have so much stuff in here. I went ahead and hot glued the trim. So you might need help with that um, if, you're, if you're young and you don't want to burn yourself your fingers because I have done that and that really hurts. And I went ahead and made a cork board here, a bulletin board, and I made it out of a little coaster. I got these at Joann's actually in a package. And then I just trimmed it and then I just used some like glitter glue and I put rock on on a piece of paper and I thought that was really cute and it went with my theme. And the little table actually I found in the dollar bins at Target. It just has candy in here, but I thought it was really cute. I love that sticker and it was only a buck and so I thought it'd make a really cute table. And this came from a package of Jacks, uh, the game Jacks, and so I thought that would look really cute there. I went to Party City, which is a store where you get all those little um, novelty items for birthday parties and I found a lot of miniatures like I found these in a package because pet rocks get bored and so you want to keep them entertained and so I found a miniature uh, barrel of monkeys game and it actually has all those little teeny tiny monkeys in there this came off a keychain that I got at Party City and it was just a few cents like 35 cents and so I just took the keychain part off and so Raffaella can go skateboarding this is just like a little tub of Play-Doh that I'm using for an end table. And actually, uh, the Pet Rocks pet can sleep there and hang out there. Also, I found this little miniature composition book at Party City. It has actual pages in it. Isn't it cute? And I found a mini Etch-a-Sketch. There was like two in a package, and it really works, too. It's really cute. You can use that. That could be your Pet Rocks um, iPad or maybe a television set. Also, I found these little foamy things at Joann's. They came in a package, something like this, and you can see how many are in there. There's even flowers in here and ladybugs, and so if you wanted to glue those on the walls. 
And the mirror here is really cute. It's actually a keychain. And you can find these at Party City, maybe at some of your other stores too. And it's a little mirror. And I just hot glued the back and just glued it on there. And then this is just a bag of beads that I found at the Dollar Tree. And all I did was take the uh, cardboard header off and it's still sealed and it makes a really cute bean bag chair. So your pet rock can rest there. And so I think that's pretty much it. And I just glued a lot of these little flip flops all the way around and I think it looks really cute. So Rafaela is going to go hang out in her pet rock home. Okay, thanks for watching you guys and have fun making your own pet rocks. And remember, if you don't have a photograph box, that's fine. You can use any box or container that you like, a shoe box or anything that you can find around the house. Look you guys, the word has spread. Rafaela has her own home and now her pet rocks are over to visit. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.